Freunde, friends, we have the privilege this morning of observing the christening of Elisa and Potgieter. Baptism is like Holy Communion, a symbol and assurance of the salvation that Jesus Christ has given us through his death and his resurrection. The baptism of a child of a believer is the mark that he belongs to the family of God and that all the riches and blessings that Jesus has earned for his children on the cross belongs to this child. The baptism gives the child the assurance that God has accepted him and that he may grow up knowing that he belongs to God and that God wants to bless him. It symbolizes that our salvation comes from God. He takes the initiative in salvation. He reaches out to us in love. We read in 1 John chapter 4, verses 9 to 10, God showed how much He loved us by sending His one and only Son into the world so that we might have eternal life through Him. This is real love, not that we loved God, but that God loved us and sent his son as a sacrifice to take away our sins. We and Elisa will have to respond to that loving outreach of God. As she grows up, she will be called to answer God's great love for her, to accept it in her life, and to love God in return. By bringing your child Zander and Shelby to be baptized today, you as parents take the responsibility to teach Elisa about God and his love and all the promises that he has given her. You must be an example for Elisa in loving God and honoring him in everyday life. Zander and Shelby, will you please come forward with Elisa? Zander and Shelby. Please answer the following questions honestly to affirm that you believe in God and that you respect Him and honor Him as your Creator and Savior. And that you acknowledge that this is a divine moment in your life and in that of Elisa's life. Firstly, do you believe in Jesus Christ as our Savior and Lord and that He had died on the cross to save us from damnation? Secondly, do you believe in God the Father who created us and cares for us and our children? Thirdly, do you believe in the Holy Spirit as Lord who leads and directs us in our everyday lives? Fourthly, do you accept the Bible as the Word of God and do you promise to teach Elisa according to the Bible and to set her an example of what real Christian living is about? What is your answer? Okay, then you can bring... Elisa, forward. Elisa, this is such a special moment in your life and in your mom and dad's life and in the family's life. And that's why God wants to show you this morning just how much He loves you and that He has a special plan for your life. And that's why in this morning, I'm baptizing you in the name of our Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Our Heavenly Father and God, thank you for your Lisa. Thank you that you have made her so special. Thank you that you have a special plan and purpose for her life. Thank you that you have given her such wonderful parents in Zander and Shelby. Thank you for the grandparents, Father, I pray that you will bless them, bless them as a family. But specifically, will you bless your Lisa? Your father, may she grow up knowing that you go before her, that you are her savior and her protector, that she can always turn to you in each and every circumstance, and that her life may shine a bright light in this dark world and bring glory to your name, and in Jesus Christ. Amen. Sander Shelby, congratulations. May the Lord really bless you and your Lisa, and may you continue to experience His goodness and love in your lives and in your family. I also have a, 
um, certificate that I just want to give to you guys. God bless. And many congratulations to the family as well. So wonderful that you can be with us this morning.